Okay, I became a fan of the Trump because of The Apprentice. I did read his book back in the late 90s, when he, he wrote in, what, the 80s or so. And I found that interesting, and I wanted to learn more about the guy, but it was just, he wasn't that uh, much of a public figure, especially compared to now, where you see him every day. I appreciate seeing uh, new stuff coming out from him every day now. I wish more would have come out from him during the Apprentice time, but technology wasn't there yet. I first really just, uh, I mean, I was just amazed at his decision-making with the first seasons of The Apprentice. I actually, I bought the, like the, the series, the whole, it was in CD or DVD, it was in DVD format. I bought the whole season for season one, and I watched it over one night. Okay, I binge watched. That's the first and pretty much only time I've ever binge watched, and that was back in two thousand, about two thousand. I, I believe it was before the towers went down, um, <clears throat> and binge watched overnight. I just couldn't stop watching. I couldn't. I just wanted to know what, what was going what was going to happen next. I respected his decisions, and it, it was just the reasons that he, he 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 had for his decisions were just amazing to me. I mean, I wanted to learn a lot about business. I took college classes uh, in business, but uh, nothing compares to what you learn in the the Apprentice. Um, it's just, just it's just just such an education. So uh, that really got me interested, and I watched pretty much every season of the regular Apprentice since uh, the, the Celebrity Apprentice. I didn't exactly get into as as much. But uh, within the first couple of seasons of, uh, you know, season one and whatever, Britain brought, came up with their own apprentice, and they brought in a, a, a Bob Sugar, I think was his name. Now, I, I believe I downloaded that. Uh, I had to download those episodes uh, through the illegal channels to watch the British version of The Apprentice. Um, and I was just not impressed by sugar's rationale uh he, he just he wouldn't explain himself he just it felt like he was just kind of going off the cuff like oh he felt this way so this guy gets fired it's like oh you should have moved the pro product from one shelf to the next uh because you didn't do that you're fired that's it they didn't explain anything whereas with trump it'd be like okay you chose this block over the other that block didn't make you any money when you made that choice um you, you know you you should have listened to your your fellow teammates or something uh they were trying to tell you different um you know you wasted all this time you know blah 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 he would go into more detail or a sugar would be like okay you just you you went from here to here you made the wrong choice you're fired it just there was such a uh a huge difference in in uh these these characters uh, for the, the the apprentice between the American version and <laughs> and the European version, um, but what what has really come out uh, out of 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 Europe that was any good uh, of of a reality show? They actually had to import Simon Cowell into their uh, America. Uh, Britain's Got Talent, you know, because they they couldn't really have their own. Well, they he is from Britain, but I mean, oh well, that doesn't really make much of a point. But I'm a big fan of Trump, and all that he says has just uh, has been amazing. It's been really enlightening and empowering. Um, now, is it a racial thing? I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I'm trying to look at it from a logical standpoint. I really, you know, appreciate you know he's the the logical reasons that he's coming up with with uh, a lot of his decisions when he can when he explains himself it really puts uh, a bigger picture around uh, what why why he made that decision he's just it's it's not it's not like you know god bestowed this decision that's how it is um so you know to have somebody take the time to explain it uh, to explain their decisions more is is really it's something that he's he's been doing for a long time whereas clinton you know you don't you really don't get that you don't get that explanation um you know trump said that he wouldn't explain he wouldn't do much as much talking while in the white house but i mean 
Hey, I don't know if I don't I don't know if I believe that. I think a guy can't help himself.